Yes, now the, the question now provided here on vectors, vectors two. It's already here with us. Now you are given this triangle, A, B, C. And then you are given information that E is a point on BC such that E is a midpoint of BC. If E is a midpoint, then the ratio BE is to EC equals one is one. That's the simplest issue. It's one is one. So this one is one, and this is one. That's one is two one there. Then you are given AD is to DC. That ratio, three is to two. That's the ratio. The ratio of this one, AD is to DC, three is to two. Then you are given that AB is vector B from A to B, the direction. From A to B is vector B. And A to C, the whole of this one is vector C. Is vector C. So this is vector C, AC, and AB. You check the direction. So therefore, meaning A is a midpoint. Is a midpoint. Sorry, sorry, is a starting point. A is a starting point. So on the origin, start from here, AB, then A to C. So according to the direction, so this vector, so that's the question there. Then F is a point of intersection of the line BD and AE. So you're told expressed in terms of B and C, one, B and C, B in terms of B and C, one, AE, from A to E, from A to E, in terms of B, C, in terms of BC. So we find AE now, we find AE. Our AE, in this case, would be what? From A to E, it is, direction is A, B, plus B, E. That's the direction. So it is A, B, plus B, E. Or you can use A, C, plus C, E. Or A, C, plus C, E. You can work it out like that. You can work it out like that. So therefore, let's use this first, first of all, that direction. What is AB? Our AB is vector B. And what is BE? Our BE, this one is one, this is one. So therefore, total ratio, total of this one is two. So therefore, BE is a half of BC. It's a half of BC. It's a half of BC. But you don't know BC. You need to express BC. BC in terms of B and C only, in terms of vector B and C only. So let's see, let's go to BC. From B to C, because you must get this. BC, the vector BC, you take BA plus AC. That direction you want from A, from B to C. So therefore you take direction BA plus AC. BA plus AC. There's a starting point, there's an end point. You get that? Right like that. So therefore, what is BA? Our direction AB was positive, is vector B. Therefore, BA, it changes direction. So it becomes minus B. That becomes minus B. What about AC? AC is positive because AC is C. So you get that is vector C. That's vector C. So therefore, find light BC now. BC, you can start with C minus B. You start with the positive value there. So therefore, that is BC. But our examiner is asking about AE, so that we can pass through BE, where BE is half of BC. So we are able now to get our BC. Come back to this, that AE is equal to B plus a half of Half of BC. Half of BC. What's our BC? Our BC is C minus B. Our BC is C minus B. So therefore, this comes to B vector B plus a half vector C minus a half vector B. Once you open the bracket, once you open that bracket, once you get you open that bracket, so you get that then I come together. This vector B, also this is vector B. 
This is B minus a half B. B minus a half B. So that one will come to, that one will come to AE, our AE here, our AE there would be equal to a half B, because B minus a half B is a half B. You will get that this is a half B plus a half C. Those are vectors. A half B plus a half C, because this B minus a half B. So that is our A, E. That's vector A, E. That is the vector A, E. So that's a vector A, E. So that's what you're supposed to do to get vector A, E. Then the next one you want, you need to get is vector B, D. How do you get B to D? From B to D. That's, in fact, it's more even easier. Vector B, D. Vector B, D. Direction. Direction, B to D, the easiest one, how about the shortest route? So this one is B A to A D. B A to A D. That's the shortest, shortest route. B A plus A, A D. What is our B A? Our B A, our B A is minus B. Here you get minus B. And you get our A D is three out of total, three plus two. Three plus two is five. So therefore it is three out of five of AC. Of AC. Three over five of AC. Three over five of AC. But AC, AC, AC is vector C. So therefore you write this minus B plus three over five of vector C. Because our AC is vector C. So therefore, 3 over 5 of AC is C. So therefore, write this one as 3 over 5 of C minus vector B. Minus vector B. And this is now the BD that you are looking for. That's a BD, and this is AE. That's BD and AE. Now, so this is part two of the question. You are given that BF, where BF is this one, BF is TBD. This vector BF is TBD, where T is a scalar. Scalar or a little number. Then, or a multiplier. Therefore, T represents a fraction BD. BF is a fraction of BD. So therefore, we are required to find this one. And then we are told AF is equal to SAE. So meaning that AF again is a fraction of AE. It's a fraction of AE. It's a fraction of AE there. It's a fraction of AE. So therefore, you find the values of S and T. The examiner is not telling you which values to use. So the first step, start with BF. This BF given there is equals to TBD. TBD, where is your BD? You had your BD in part one, which is three over five C, three over five. There's three over five C minus B. Three over five C minus B. So therefore, open the bracket, you get this is three over five TC minus T vector B. Minus T vector B. So that is, that is BF now, this BF, the other BF. Then we go to this AF, we go to AF, we go to AF. AF is given as SAE, S, what is our AE? Our AE was this one, a half of B plus a half of C. A half of B plus a half of C. A half of B plus a half of C. So open this, you get this is a half, S vector B plus a half S vector C. And you must include the symbols for vectors. So a half S vector B plus a half S vector C. So that is our AF, our AF. Now, the next step, the next step from there is to find the values of S and T, given these values. But the examiner is not telling you how do you get this. 
This is BF, this is AF. You cannot equate them because they are not equal. So you need to make one of the values equal or one of the vectors equal. And what you do, you check this one. Our origin was A. Our origin was A. Origin year two is A. So it is from A to F. A to the point of, from origin to the point of intersection. This one is already given. We call it AF1. The one that we have got here, AF1. So our AF1 is a half S vector B plus a half S vector C. That one is our AF1. That is our AF1. So we find our second AF2, but passing through BF. That's why the examiner is giving you a root. The examiner is giving you a, a root to use, BF. So you say AF2, 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 there. AF2 passes through what? Our AF2 passes through BF. The B have given here. So start here. Check your A. B. B to F. You want the root that is using BF, which is this one. So it is AB plus BF. It is AB plus BF. AB plus BF. AB. So we want to get our AF2. AF2 now, which is AB plus BF. A, B plus B, F. Our A, B is B. That's vector B. Our B, F, we already have B, F somewhere here. 3 over 5, T vector C minus T vector B. Minus T, minus T vector B. So therefore, bring right terms together. In this case, the right terms, the vector B. This vector B and this vector B. This one, because this is A, B plus BF, where BF is this one. So bring this one here. You say B minus T vector B plus three over five T vector C. T vector C. So vector B is the one that is common, not T. T is a scalar. So vector B is the one that is common. So bring right terms together. This one there, now factorize vector B is common. You get here, when you factorize this one, you get one minus T plus three all of five T vector C. And this is vector AF2. This is AF2 now, and this is AF1. AF, AF2 and AF1. So when you have AF2 and AF1, they are equal now, AF and AF. Only that we are calling one AF1, the other one AF2. Then you can equate now the values. The vectors are equal for these two. The vectors are equal in this case. So therefore you say AF1, vector AF1 equals to AF2. You equate like that. So take this one, which is a half S vector B plus a half S vector C, a half S vector B plus a half S vector C there, is equals to this one, our AF2. We already have this one, which is vector B bracket one minus T plus three over five T vector C. Three over five T vector C. So this is AF1, AF2. AF1, AF2. AF1, AF2. So you already have these two. So the two vectors are equal. So the two vectors are equal. Therefore, you say, for you to get the next value, get the next one. Now, because you have now AF1 and AF2, they are equal, you equate the vectors. This vector B here, this vector B here, and this vector B here. They are equal, equate the values. You take a half S, this vector B, is equal to, Vector B, one minus T. So this vector and this vector, they are equal. You equate the values, a half S is equals to one minus T. Equals to one minus T. That is a half S is equal to one minus T because this vector B, vector B. When you go to vector C, 
this one here, is equal to this vector C. So you equate this vector C and this vector C. So you say I have S is equal to, this is, is equal to three over five, equals to three over five vector T, because you're equating vectors. You're equating vectors. So I have this vector B, this vector B. So you could be about this half S equals to one minus T. Vector C is equal to vector C here. So a half S is equal to three or five T. Now from there, form these two equations. You can form simultaneous equation. The first one multiply by two and this side by two. So that you can remove these two. We get S is equal to a value of S. A value of S in this case is equal to two minus two T. Call this one equation one. S is equal to two minus two T. Then we get the second equation here. You can cross multiply or multiply both sides by LCM. Let's cross multiply, because it's the same. Five times S, five S, you get that is five S is equal to three times two, that is 60. This is our second equation. That's our second equation. That's our second equation. That's our second equation. So therefore, what do you do? You have S is equal to two minus two T. You can use substitution method very fast to work out this. S is equal to two minus two T. You equate here, S is equal to two minus two T. Apakwa S. Here when you have S, you substitute this one. You say five in the bracket two minus two T is equal to 60. You get that one. Then, then the other one you get, you substitute. I want you to get this. You first forget this, you get 10 minus 10t is equal to 60. It's equal to 60. So let's take like turn together on this side. This minus 10t, take it on the other side. You get 10 is equal to 60 plus 10t. You get 10 is equal to 16t. 10 equals to 16t. Now, so get t, divide both sides by 16, by 16. You get your t is equals to 10 over 16. You get equals to 10 over 16. So 10 over 16 is, you see, if you simplify by 2, 5, by 2, 8. By 2, 8. So our t is equals to 5 over 8. Our t is equal to 5 white. Our value of t equals to 5 over 8. Over 8. I'll explain. I'll, I'll explain again the same same concept. So let's get s. That's t. S was s is equals to 2 minus 2t. Two, 2 minus 2t. And we already have our t. Our t is 5 over 8. So our s is equals to 2 minus 2 times 5 over 8. So by 2, 1, by 2, 4. 2 minus 5 over 4. 2 minus 5 over 4. You get your correct answer is our S is equal to 3 over 4. Our S is equal to 3 over 4. And our T is equal to 5 over 8. Our S equals to 3 over 4. And our T equals to 5 over 8. And in this case, we have used that we have solved the two simultaneous equation by substitution method, by substitution method.